Hey, King Randor, I'm your new bodyguard. You need your clamp champed? Giggity. Wow, that was a horrible dad porn joke. Eh, whatever, I'll use it. I'm in love with the hero. I'm in love with the one who will... Hello, Masters Universe Classics fans! I have Clamp Champ. Clam Champ, the heroic master of capture. Before we say anything else, I want to say, Theo, thank you so much for getting me this figure as a Christmas gift. He is one of the few figures I was not able to get when the Masters Universe Classics was available on Maddie Collector. This is from the older line before Super 7 took over, so it has the old package. On the back, you can see some of the figures are also available during the time frame when Clam Champ came out. The bio on the back reads, Clam Champ, real name Rainius. After Duncan was captured and permanently turned into a snake man, Rainius, former bodyguard to King Randor, stepped in as the new royal man-at-arms. Although lacking Duncan's skills as an inventor, Rainius proved his worth in the Masters universe with his ferocious hand-to-hand -hand combat and extensive knowledge of almost every weapon, including his favorite, the Techno Clamp, for which he earned the nickname Clamp Champ. He continued to lead the Masters of the universe all the way to the second ultimate battleground, Clam Champ surprises his enemies with his clamping action. Anyways, that's about enough about the packaging. I am excited about opening this guy up, so let's get to it. And here is Clam Champ with his clamping champing weapons. Here's a close-up of his head. They did a great job in the detailing of his face. You can see his eyes really well. He comes with two different weapons, both of which sort of have the whole clamping action to it. Here's a smaller weapon. It doesn't do anything, but they did sculpt it really well. Although I'm not really quite sure what this is supposed to do. Maybe these are like razors and it clamps down on stuff. Here's his more famous weapon that he came out with from the toy figure in the 1980s. This is just a molded piece of plastic, but then the 1980s figure, if you push this button, the clamps would come out and it would grab whatever figure was in front of him. I'm pretty darn impressed with the sculpting of this. I mean, if you look at it, they put in so much detail. In fact, I'm really happy with all the colorings of the mechanics. I'm also happy we have the option to put these clamps in or out. I'm going to probably display them inwards just because I'm afraid that maybe something will fall on it and maybe these will break off. And the original 1980s Masters Universe toy line, they had all these different aliens and different mutants and different species, but they didn't have any black characters. Clam Champ was the first and only one, which I think is really unfortunate. Putting both of his weapons to the side, let's look at Clam Champ himself. He has somewhat of like a standard armor that was used in some of the 1980s figures, but this has been much more sculpted to be more unique to him while paying homage to the 1980s figure. He's got a weapon pack on his back here, although this could be just about anything. I've seen some some people theorize that maybe this is some sort of jet propulsion thing or maybe it's something similar to him just holding some sort of weapons meaning that he is the man at arms when Duncan is killed. His weapon jet backpack is also reminiscent from the 2000 Staction figure that also had the same thing sculpted onto him. He's got a lot of bubble looking things on his shoulders. Oh, here's a view underneath his furry underwear. In terms of body sculpt, Maddie Collector reused a lot of the pieces that were already used in previous Masters Universe Classics figures. He has some of the standard sculpted on gauntlets on both his hands. Like most Masters Masters Universe Classics figures, his armor does come off just like that, and underneath you can see that nice chiseled chest. I like his color coordinated red and black boots, it kind of matches his furry underwear too. Real quickly, let's go through his articulation. First, he has movement in his head, upper body movement, upper arm movement, bicep movement, elbow movement, wrist movement, waist movement, upper leg movement, knee movement, boot movement, and ankle movement. All in all, he's a very beautiful figure, and I think they did a great job sculpting both the body, his face, his armor, and his weapons. I am the clampiest of the champions. Unfortunately, I don't have the Clam Champ that came out from the 1980s as a comparison, just know that this is a great homage to that figure. Something to keep in mind is there was a Staction figure of Clam Champ that came out from the 2000 toy line of the Masters of the Universe. The Staction figures had absolutely no articulation, but they fit in line and scale with the other Masters of the Universe that came out from that time, and it just kind of looked like you can display them, which was pretty cool for a lot of people out there. It was also where they invented this weird kind of weapon thingy that he uses now. So. It's also a nice homage to that toy line. Personally, I'm going to make Clam Champ left-handed and have this big weapon in his left hand instead. It just seems as though it's held much better with this one. Oh no, Clam Champ has captured Daddy Man at Arms. Surprisingly, the weapon holds on to another figure fairly well. Unfortunately, he can't hold on to the actual figure and his weapon without
without you interceding in some way. But still, I think this does the job. So let me go and end it at that point with Clam Champ joining some of the other heroic figures I have from the Masters Universe Classics toy line. Again, Theo, thank you so much for getting me this guy. His sculpt and paint apps are beautiful. Overall, I am so happy with the way he looks. If you're interested in getting him, he was available on Maddie Collector and there may be some back stock available here or there, but I think you probably have to go to a third party vendor like Amazon or maybe even eBay. I don't think he's too expensive, but it may be a bit more difficult to find. Anyways, though, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to check out my Patreon site, my social media sites, my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, namaste, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. When I first saw Clam Champ in the 1980s mini comic, I thought that he had super strength. I mean, maybe I was reading way too much into it, but I thought maybe he had bionic implants or something like that, which wouldn't be too far of a stretch, especially being that he's supposed to be the bodyguard to King Randall.